On to question number 23. Here we have um, AB. Tell us AB is the arc of a circle, center O, radius 9. The length of the arc AB is 6 pi centimeters. The area of the sector AOB is K pi centimeters squared. Find the value of K. Okay, so now we have to find the area. Basically, they're saying find the area of the sector in terms of pi and write down what number's next to pi. That's what they're basically telling us to do. Now, to find the area of a sector, we need the following. Okay, now, first of all, this angle here is the angle made okay, by this sector from the center of the circle. And that's important for us because it's a portion of the circumference of the whole, sorry, the portion of the area of the whole circle. So now, if you think about a circle, one second, if you think about a circle of center O, This sector AOB is like a fraction of the whole circle. And the area of a circle is given by pi r squared. So we want to have some fraction of the whole circle. What fraction of the whole circle is this section here? Well, it's the same fraction that this angle makes with the angle of the whole circle, which is 360 degrees. So theta over 360 times pi r squared will tell us the area of the sector. I know what r is. r is 9. But do I know what theta is? No, I don't. So I need to find what theta is. There's two unknowns here, so I can't do that. I don't know what a is. I don't know what, I don't know what theta is. However, they gave us another piece of information, that the length of the arc from a to b, okay, the length of the arc is 6 pi centimeters so maybe I can use that because we also know that the the an arc is a fraction of the whole circumference and the circumference of the circle is given by 2 pi r so I know that the length of the arc is equal to theta over 360 that's the fraction of the whole circumference we need times 2 pi r so the length of the arc is given by theta over 360 times 2 pi r. Now I know what r is and I know what l is so I can find what theta is and once I know what theta is I can use it in this equation to find the area and we're, we're, we're done. Okay so the length of the arc is 6 pi. So 6 pi is equal to theta over 360 times 2 times pi times 9. Now if I rearrange this equation here just use this space over here I'm going to have theta is equal to, that will be 360 times 6 pi. Don't keep everything in terms of pi because the answer is going to be in terms of pi. 360 times 6 pi over, and that will be 2 times 9 pi. I'm just leaving it like that so it's easy for me to break up. The pi's cancel out. You can say the, the uh, 9 goes into 360 40 times. 2 goes into 40 20 times, you're left with 20 times 6, which is equal to 120. So theta is equal to 120 degrees. Let me just make sure that I'm correct. We had 360. Let me just put it in the fraction. 360 times 6. 360 times 6 divided by 18. Hold on, there's something wrong here. Oh, times 6. Sorry, not 60. 360 times 6 divided by 18, which gives us 120. That's correct, okay. Sorry about that. So that's 120 degrees, so that's 120 degrees. So now we can find the area. So let me just get rid of this. Just give some space okay so we have the area that we need come on pen the area that we need is equal to 120 over 360 times pi times 9 squared and in terms of pi the answer is going to be whoops what's happened here 
Where's my calculator? There it is. Okay, in terms of pi, the answer is going to be 120 over 360 times 81. Okay, I'll put the pi there as well. That gives us 27 pi. So the area is 27 pi centimeters squared. So therefore, k is equal to 27. Simple as that. Okay, so in this question here, we didn't have enough information to find the area on its own. They gave us the length of the arc, which helped us find the, the angle subtended by the arc, which is what we needed in order to find the area. Okay, I hope that was clear.